right, here we are, ready for another wave breakdown. This time it is me just getting absolutely lit up at the wedge. So you can see when I take off, I hit a pretty large bump right when I needed my rail to be engaged. That kind of made me skip down the face a lot longer than I would have liked to. And I get to the bottom and you can see I just barely snuck under that lip. There's a little frame where you can see my head just on the other side of the shockwave. And, um, oh geez, I remember, um, this was right after Black Ball went down, so we had just paddled out, and we didn't really know how big it was. And I just went out, went out and kind of paddled out, and I think I got maybe one wave right before this, and I paddled out and just saw this peak coming in, just kind of turned and went, because it's definitely the biggest wave I saw. Uh, that day so far, and um, <laughs> yeah, I was pretty lucky to get under that thing. Um, regardless, I just got absolutely like blown to pieces inside of it. Um, you can see the whitewash after you know I disappear. It's just like is doing all this crazy like contortions, and it was <laughs> it's pretty um it's pretty pretty wild in there. Um, not sure how to describe it other than just feeling like all of your body parts are just getting ripped off. And um, it was an intense, you know, couple of seconds just getting blasted around and then um, popped up and I think Craig got the next wave and uh, was just there in time to give it a little claim before getting, you know, washed up the beach and do the walk around. Yeah, I was pretty lucky to, you know, just squeak under that. I had to put my whole weight onto my inside rail just to, you know, make it into a slightly safer spot. Uh, they say inside the barrel is the safest place to be. So in my case, it absolutely was. If I had, you know, got not gotten my rail engaged the last second like I did, I would have just been going straight into that lip and it could have been a lot more serious of a situation that it ended up being came out relative, or I came out unscathed, you know, considering how serious that could have been. Yeah, it's just a bum ride. I hit that bump, you know, trying to get down it, because it would have been a great, great view. Don't, well, I mean, the wave closed out at the end, but it would have been a much um, more enjoyable ride if I could have just, you know, parked it in that and just enjoyed it, taking it all in. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this um, installment of Wave Breakdowns, and um, yeah, let us know if there's any waves in particular you'd like to hear about anything um yeah anything you guys want to know about any specific waves or any places you know just what's going on in our minds there you go